summer is coming and I'm fearing that, you know, times might get hotter. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson giving a fearful prediction for this summer. And tonight, the Savannah Police Department is pleading for answers. They're offering $10,000 to anyone with any information on Friday's mass shooting. Our Emma Hamilton joins us now live tonight. Emma, a suspect is still at large. They are Shannon and investigators are behind these doors trying to figure out who shot and killed two people and injured six, but they need the community's help. Our city is safe. We have a wonderful city and we have people who just don't act wonderfully. Another person is dead and whoever is responsible for Friday's mass shooting is still walking Savannah's streets. 26 year old Terrell Coleman died earlier Tuesday after someone shot him along with seven others Friday night. Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter says witnesses, even victims, won't tell them what happened. How unsettling is it for you that these victims who were shot Friday night will not talk to police, will not tell you who did it to get this person off the street to prevent them from doing something like this again? Well, I mean, it's, it's very concerning. I mean, when you look at what happened on Friday night and, you know, you actually pair that up with what happened Tuesday night, a couple of days before, um, where we realized the same address was targeted on Tuesday night. Nobody would talk to us on Tuesday. Nobody would talk to us on Wednesday. And then two days later, we had a mass shooting at that location. Chief Minter believes there might be more than one person responsible. I know there were a lot of shell casings out there, and I'm pretty sure 60 shell casings did not come from just one weapon. Mayor Van Johnson is now calling on the community to speak up and start resolving conflicts without guns. The most difficult thing for me to accept that this entire incident may have been avoided, may have been prevented if someone had just simply spoken up the Tuesday before. Now, Emma, with this large reward on the line, are people still able to remain anonymous if their tip leads to an arrest? Yes, they are, Shannon. And remember, you can submit tips either to the Savannah Police Department's Violent Crime Unit or Crime Stoppers. And we have both of those phone numbers on our website right now at WJCL.com. Shannon, back to you. All right, Emma, thank you.